guys, really quick before I start the video, um, I'm going to spoil it a little bit. Um, I've always kept my face out of shots on purpose just because uh, I want the focus to be on whatever I'm filming and not on me, and I'm kind of shy, so, um, but it makes it really hard to get a lot of shots, um, so I just went ahead and put my face right in the middle of this one, and um, hopefully that's okay. I'm also using this new mic, so let me know if it sounds uh, better or clear. And maybe if you don't have to strain so much to hear it, I would love a little bit of feedback. All right, thanks now. Let's watch the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Trees. Um, I know I had this video um, planned you know, I went around the whole garden and everything like that. I kind of skimmed over a few trees, and um, this is one of them that I really kind of wanted to go back and give you a little more of a look. Um, this is a pomegranate, and as you know, those are uh, some of my favorites, but I wanted to give you just kind of a little closer look at the trunk and the basic branch structure that we're gonna have. Um, I am gonna grow this tree probably one more season in the ground. Uh, something like that and uh, we're gonna see what it looks like then you know at the end of this next growing season um, also I am trying out the different mic uh, please let me know if this picks up well uh, if the sound is better and if you can hear me without uh, turning your volume all the way up just please let me know anyway I'm gonna clear out here a little bit You can see the base, it's already kind of clear. It shaded out a lot of this area, so there weren't many weeds here to start out with. Um, but as you can remember, I'll show a little, uh, little clip of uh, when I worked on this in the spring. The tree itself was uh, much, much smaller. It probably had a trunk diameter of close to two inches. It's probably closer to three or maybe three and a quarter now. Um, if I back up, I can show you that it's grown um, to be, I'd say about four feet tall. Very much, uh, very happy in the soil and in this climate, I guess. The best uh, part about that is it's kind of a surprise because this is a lot of, uh, it's basically a lot of potting soil and not a whole lot of um, the extra stuff that I like to have in there to keep the soil from being, you know, too compacted. Um, so I was, I was pleasantly surprised that this uh, grew as well as it did. And I want to show you a couple of things. Give me just a moment to fix the camera. Um, there's a root. And I apologize. There we go. Okay, there's a root here on the right side that you can see clearly from, from this shot. Uh, right here. And if you go back, I really do recommend that you look at, um, I'll put the, the tag, um, this tree, the work that it, I did on this tree in the spring because it was, um, it was a very ugly tree and it's made strides this year. Uh, I originally was trying to get some roots to grow right up under here so that I could uh, remove this root uh, at the beginning of the next year. However, it's grown so well, it's kind of incorporated itself into uh, the design of the tree and I don't think that it is taking away anything anymore. I think it's actually adding to the, you know, the basal flare that is good. It's also uh, tied into this low branch here very well. And at this point, I think that branch may uh, stay, and I think that that root will probably stay with that. We'll see when we dig it up. Um, you can look at the left side. Move you over a little bit. It's got a nice little hollow or two. And this was the one, um, I believe I, I marked it as the, uh, the spooky tree for Halloween. And give that a couple years and that, uh, that whole hollow area will become much more uh, rolled over and 
it will look very much like a uh, like a haunted tree in a, in a cemetery or something like that now as I was saying um, in a couple years that uh, hollow is going to be more pronounced um, and it will get a, a, a very nice look to it the tree itself um, which you can see in the current camera angle um, right about the top of the screen here is probably where I'll be cutting whenever I um, start to work on the, the tree as a tree and not as something in the ground uh, this branch that is on the left as you can kind of see it's curving here will be reduced completely if not it'll be cut by, right back to the uh, to the base here and it will probably pop um, some buds off of that side so we will um, look at that next year the leader itself is um, let's see the leaves kind of obscure it but it goes uh, right up here and that will be the main uh, trunk line there and what I really wanted to show you um, the other day I couldn't get into the uh, the back area of this tree but I moved another tree I transplanted it because uh, this tree basically was shading it out and I can get back there now and only show you just the the back side of the tree it adds another little um, element to it it's it's got a very strong character from the back side as well so um, gonna pause this really quick and move around and I'll show you on the back I may need to take the camera uh, off of the tripod here to get to where you can see it a little bit better nobody's seen this trees behind in a long time so don't uh don't judge it too hard okay here's what we're looking at at the back this branch here is very much tied into that branch that you can see off of the front side so a decision will have to be made there as well as um, as far as how to cut it and maintain um, the look of the tree I guess maybe we can get both sides to branch off close and then we can keep both of them that'd be nice um, on this side you kind of see that you have options if you wanted to with this curve this branch curves upwards and could follow that line as well so that's an option but what I believe the best option for this tree is to let it grow another season or two and let those twists and turns develop a little bit more and I believe that when we do uh, the path that the tree should follow will be a whole lot more clear um, I can, I'm going to be probably letting this tree fruit this year next year it's grown so much you know um, if you look at the branches themselves um, there are lots of buds along the leaves we've got some uh, thorns that I wouldn't want to run into all over the tree as well but anyway the tree is healthy it's loving their climate and um, it's got several sisters and cousins that are growing in here too that should be something special pretty soon as well uh, I know this is a short video uh, I was just mainly trying to test out the mic and I wanted to give you a little bit of a look at this tree as well I think it's uh, a nice one and I think it'll be uh, really nice and rapidly improving I think this will be one of those trees that I can make, you know, two or three videos of in a year. And each time, you may think uh, it's a different tree or, you know, must have done something drastic off camera or uh, something of that nature. Let's see if I can get out of here without falling. That would be, be nice. I'll just top it all off. That would be a great ending. I think I got a couple of those uh, thorns just then. Anyway, um, that is the pomegranate that I wanted to show you today. Um, I'm growing a bunch of these like uh, in my garden. Very tall tree right now. As you can see, the trunk goes up here. It's about three feet tall, but the trunk itself needs to thicken a lot. 
why I bought the tree. If you look, you can see the faintest part of it uh, starting to twist already. And I think it may be a, a nice, almost formal upright tree with a lot of twists, which would be interesting. So we'll keep an eye on that uh, in the next uh, year or two. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble on much more because I don't have a lot to say. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll be back at you soon uh, with more content as I uh, get here a little bit restless in the fall, you know. Um, I'm sure I'll have some stuff to show you. Until next time.